Hi friends, in this video let us learn about a basic common source amplifier. Right, so the diagram you will see here. So this is RSI, this is VI and um, here we have coupling capacitor CC and this is R1. R2 and uh, we have supply here VDD for next RD oh, this is VO this is one basic common source why it is common source? You see, the source is this is source terminal, this is gate, and this is train. The source is common for both input and output side. So this is source is common for input side and this is output side, this is input side. That's why it is common source. R1 and R2 are biasistors. Okay, so let us see. Let us first draw the small signal equivalent circuit of the given diagram. So here we know for small signal and we consider the signal frequency is very high. VA is small and high frequency. So this will become short. Okay. So this one will be as it is. VI or psi. So this will be AI or SI. This is like this. Then you see these two are bias resistors R1, R2. If you find equivalent terminates, they will be like this one. Let us call this is RI, right? So R1 parallel R2. Then everything we have done now we have to replace the transistor mass with the small signal equivalent we know the small signal equivalent of the mass is like this plus minus yeah gm vgs it is in mass we consider channel length effect so we put r also and output side so mass is replaced then what is the only remaining thing is rd for ac analysis we have to make dc as zero that we know so then we have only rd then we have as far as gate source and drain right Okay, so from this we will find what are all the things, the three main parameters. We have to find AV, RI, RO. Okay, so you see these two are parallelism. So I can write RO parallel RD. Right? What is VO? VO is this current which is flowing in opposite direction. So minus to plus. So it is minus GM VGS. These two resistors combined parallel RO parallel RD. So, what is VGS? Right, so here VGS we have to find it. VGS is the voltage across these two terminals. So, how can I say this is open circuit? So, current coming here will go here. So, it is these two are series. So, VGS is equal to from the diagram total input voltage. I apply voltage divider rule R1 parallel R2. Let us call that is Ri. This resistance I call it as Ri. Ri is R1 parallel R2. So that is Ri divided by Ri plus Rsi. So now you substitute this into this Vo by Vi. That is Av is given by minus Gm Ro parallel Rd into Ri plus Ri plus Rsi. Right? So this is the voltage gain. So this is common source amplifier. 
So it will introduce 180 degree phase shift between input and output that is given by this negative symbol. So 180 degree phase shift between IO. Right? Okay, this we have done. So first thing we have completed, we found voltage gain of the common source amplifier. Then we have to find RI, input result, second parameter. So RI is given by from the diagram. You see what is RI? The RI is the resistance looking into the input terminal. So this is RI. So RI is from here you see that's what I have put here. RI is only this resistance is available from the input terminal, right? So this is R1 parallel R2. So RI is R1 parallel R2. Right? Next to RO. Output resistance. How can we find output resistance? We can find output resistance by making independent source inside zero. So to find RO, make R set independent input source equal to zero. Right? So here what is the independent input source? Here independent input source is VA. So VA is zero. VA is zero means what will happen? VA is nothing but VG, independent source. It is VA, it is nothing but VGS. Right? So VA is equal to VG. Oh, this is the same one. Right? So if you put an independent, sorry, here it is having VGS input source VGS zero. So VGS zero means what will happen? VGS zero means this term will become zero. This term will become zero. So it is open. I0 means open. VG0 means current source 0 open. So what is the output resistance? We have only two resistance RO parallel RD. So VO, sorry, VO is RO parallel, sorry, RO. So RO is RO parallel RD. Right? So we find everything. So in, for the transistor to act as amplifier, Q point must be in the middle of saturation. That is very, very important point. Right, first point, these are all things you have to remember. Then input signal must be very small. Input signal must be small. Why it should be small? For amplifier to be in linear. For amplifier to remain linear. Right, so these are the things we have to remember whenever you are working with the amplifier. Thank you.